Hi, in this episode for the beginner's guide I'm going to talk about the film stroke tool and this is a very important tool. With this tool we apply colors to our graphics and there are a lot of options here so I'm going to divide this tutorial in parts and uh, the first thing I want to show you is you can access this tool from this option over here you can go to object fill and stroke and you can use the keyboard shortcut shift control plus F now to see information here you need to first select an object that you're going to apply colors to if I select this you see now we have information here but before I continue with these options just want to show you that here in the corner you have also info about the fill stroke and opacity and you can change the opacity if you want to and you see this is also affecting this slider over here we have uh, no stroke and we have this fill of green color now I don't recommend actually using these options to adjust them use this dialog but you can quickly check if you have a stroke or uh, what's the opacity of the object with these options here now let's continue with the dialog here and something you can do is also with the shift key holding down the shift key you can add to the selection and you get the average color of both objects so this is something you can do now let's click away and select only this one now let's start with the first tab here fill and the first option no paint if you click on that this will remove the flat color and remove the paint now if you have a stroke you'll be able to see the outline of the object but we also don't have a stroke so now we are not seeing anything and we can still select the object if we use the select and transform tool and we can go ahead and apply a flat color now I'm going to continue with the rest of the options here but before that let's jump to these tabs here which are different color pickers some of them are also the name of different color spaces and uh, this is our different color selection dialogs and for the first one is RGB and we are selecting a color here by mixing the red green and blue amount and also we have an alpha channel here this is the opacity so if you reduce that you see that the object becomes transparent uh, now if you move all the sliders to the left you see that you get a black color and if you move them all to the right you just grab this you'll see that we have a white color and you see the maximum amount of red green and blue and if you multiply these numbers you will figure out that we have more than 16 million colors available to us so basically by mixing the red green and blue you get millions of colors and I don't know if you know this the display that you're watching this video right now does not produce colors like this one for example it produces red green and blue light and the mix of that light creates the illusion of other colors so this is gonna be it for this part and if you want to learn more about this RGB color space just google it RGB color space and I'm going to continue in the next tutorial with these other color pickers here. So that's it for now. Bye.